Hi guys, it's just Louise again. This is the fourth tutorial on Adobe Bridge and Photoshop. Today I'm going to take you through how to batch produce a contact sheet from a bunch of images. As many of you will know, or some of you that won't, if you study photography at any level, at some point you will have to make a contact sheet. I remember when I was starting out last year, I didn't have a clue about this function and sat there in Photoshop on a canvas trying to line up all of these resized images. I was absolutely furious when I found out about this, so I just thought I would share to save some aggro for other people. So again, we just go down here and open up Adobe Bridge CS3. Again, in CS5, there's really not that much of a difference. Anything in these tutorials you can take from here and directly put it into practice in CS5. Things might be shuffled about a little bit, and a few more options, but apart from that, there's not much difference. Okay, so contact sheet. You can either make a contact sheet out of NEF files, PSDs or JPEGs. Um, no, sorry, you can't do PSDs. You can do JPEGs or NEF files. It's one o'clock in the morning, uh, getting very tired. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find some JPEGs. Go. Okay, so we take some of these images. Let's just say we wanted to make a contact sheet out of all these. We would select them all. Um, one good thing about contact sheets says is that if you have a few hundred images, like I did for this wedding, which was my first last year and you want to see them even just as thumbnails but actual print instead of on screen all at the same time to just quickly eliminate what ones you're not going to use contact sheets are brilliant it's also why you make them in darkroom as well you can very quickly tell which ones are essentially crap and which ones are decent and worthy of keeping so back to the point you have the images that you want to make a contact sheet out of selected what you do is you go up to your menu system and you go to, if I can find it, you go to your tools menu, of course. And what you want you to do is if you just go down to the Photoshop menu, because it's actually created in Photoshop, you can see here that there's an option here for contact sheet. If you just click this, you can see that Photoshop loads up and takes its time. And you get this little pop-up window here. Now, down here, you can either tell it to do it by a complete folder, if you're already in Photoshop, or you can do it from Bridge by selected images from Bridge. Now, your actual document width is the size of your paper, essentially. You can also change your colour mode, your PPI, but of course, if you're printing it out, you do want it as 300 your thumbnails. This is where you get to choose what order they go in. So of course they can go across as in one, two, three, four, five, or they can go down as in one, two, three, four, five. I always have them going across the way. You can also select to have auto spacing on, highly recommended if you want them to look even. This is where you can also customise how many columns you want. I usually do two or three and how many rows you want to a page. I usually do no more than six. Let's just go for five. You can also select it to rotate for best fit. Again, if you don't mind turning your paper around, that's not a problem. You can also select to use your file name as a caption, which in all honesty, if you're looking at them for print, is definitely a good point of reference. And just as a little added thing, you can choose your font size and type. Once you're happy with your layout and your total size, all you have to do is just click OK. And what you will see now is Photoshop creating the canvas and very quickly taking all of your images, as you can see here in your history tab, and it's just battering away quite happily and it's making your contact sheet for you. Now, just to give you a rough time, um, I'm using a brand spanking new fully upgraded 27 inch iMac, which I got the other week. I've not actually made a contact sheet on this yet. It's got 16 gig of RAM on it. 
um, my old laptop that I used to use for this, if I was doing about 200 images, it would take about 10 minutes to do it. This, however, seems to be rattling through pretty quick. Um, that's just an image I had open from last time. So what you see here is it will automatically continue to make as many of these as you need. It will just keep battering out new canvases to the preset parameters that you gave it before. And it's obviously got your file names as captions and literally all you have to do if you want these saved, they are made as a layer. All you have to do is just file, save as, tell it where to save, what you want it saved as, hit save. And of course if you want to print all you do is file and print and it will print off in any fashion you want through your page setup and everything else, it will print off your contact sheets for you. And all you do is hit print and that is you. That is how you make a contact sheet very quickly as a batch process in Photoshop. As far as I know, you can do this with up to a thousand images at once and it will just quite happily spin out more canvases, as many as you need. So hope that was helpful. I'll speak to you later.